So important question, why do we have some of these really bad habits that we have? Things like overeating, overanalyzing, um, getting stuck on social media, uh, getting addicted to video games, trying to please others rather than focusing on ourselves and what we truly need. Why do we have so many of these habits that are super detrimental to our health, our mental health, our fulfillment, uh, and everything that we really want in life? Uh, so today I wanna go over seven deadly habits that we all have and why we have them so that you can actually get rid of them today, okay? So the first thing that happens uh, that I need you to understand when it comes to habits, uh, there's a reason evolutionarily why we started to build habits. Now, uh, if you look at it evolutionarily, humans are the only beings on the planet with this type of brain to body ratio, this much brain for this much body, right? Now, because of that, we end up, expend we end up expending a lot of energy because of how much we think, right? Because of this thing between the ears. Right? Evolutionarily, expending too much energy is bad because you can die if you run out of energy. So we as humans developed a means for conserving energy, but still being able to keep this level of intelligence, and it's called habitual thought. 95% of your brain is your subconscious mind, and 90 to 95% of your actions come from habitual action. And what this means is your brain creates patterns so that you don't have to think anymore, and it just does the thing, right? Because if we always had to constantly think and decide about what we were doing for 100% of our actions, we would burn too much energy and we would die before we got dinner, at least back when we were cavemen, right? So our brain is specifically designed to conserve energy by creating habits that keep us alive. This is what's happened evolutionarily. Now the problem is, it helped us you know, 100,000 years ago when, say, uh, we were afraid of being eaten by a saber-toothed tiger. But I don't know if you checked the bathroom recently, there's no saber-toothed tigers. So I'm gonna dig into the seven deadly habits that you now have that are hurting you in the modern society. Oh. So habit number one, just like we were just talking about, conserving energy. Our base level need to conserve energy is incredibly important because, well, our brains are so big that we burn way too much energy for us to survive. So the most important habit that we've built for survival is to actually do nothing. This is why we spend so much time Netflix and chilling. This is why over everything else, probably the biggest problem that you have in your life is your laziness. Laziness is an ingrained program survival habit to keep you alive, to keep you from burning too much energy. So laziness and inaction is actually the number one reason you're not getting to where you wanna go. So habit number two is we have a base evolutionary need to eat to survive. So habit number two, is overeating. Now, evolutionarily this makes sense, right? We gotta eat and drink water to survive. But we've been evolutionarily programmed to have a really strong desire for the perfect combination of salty, carby, and fat foods because that brings us the most energy. Now, this makes sense. As an evolutionary caveman, you wanna find high energy foods, but today, we genetically modify all of our food so that it's that perfect combination of salty, fat, and sugar. So now we just can't stop eating. So habit number three is finding love and reproducing. A base level need that of course helps keep our species alive, but not so helpful when it makes you addicted to apps like Tinder and swiping nonstop. Oh, hey! Oh, no, 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 no! Is that actually helping keep the species alive? Probably not, right? You're just programmed to desire more mates and desire love and reproduction. You see how popular I am? Oh, I'm so cool. <laughs> confirm, confirm.
confirm. So habit number four is the desire to connect and collaborate with others. We're pack animals, so we wanna build community as evolutionary man. This is what helped keep us alive, being in a group, in a community. So we wanna connect with other people. This is why we're addicted to Facebook and getting friend requests and then collaborating with people and messaging them on social media. Makes sense as evolutionary man, but if you end up spending five hours a day scrolling through feeds and watching cat videos and friend requesting people, probably not gonna hit your goals. Yes! One more like. See, habit number five is we're designed to need social acceptance and approval. Uh, that's why we get addicted to things like Instagram because you're constantly looking for people to like or approve of your lifestyle. You know, if you're getting likes, if you're getting comments, if you're getting engagement, that means your community is approving of your lifestyle. Now, evolutionarily, this makes sense because uh, we, are, we have a pack or herd mentality. If the community approves of you, then they're gonna keep you around, not reject you, and you're not gonna be eaten by that saber-toothed tiger. But in today's modern era, spending four hours on Instagram every day Probably not the best for you. So habit number six is reducing uncertainty. We have a base level need to reduce uncertainty and discomfort in our lives. Why? Because uncertainty and discomfort meant that you could be ambushed at any time by that damn saber toothed tiger, right? But now in the modern era, how this affects us is overanalyzing perfection by paralysis or paralysis analysis as I like to call it. And we get stuck in analysis and overthinking rather than getting into action. This makes sense as evolutionary man because you wanna think things through as much as you can to make sure that you have the best chance of survival. But let's be honest, taking that next step in your business is not gonna kill you. So you need to actually just get into action. How do you guys like my new car? See, habit number seven uh, is about subconsciously how we seek prestige and status uh, over everything else. Why do we do this? Because uh, if we seek prestige and status, it's going to show that we are higher on the totem pole uh, than others in our community, which means we're gonna be more likely to be able to reproduce, right? People wanna pick the people that stand out more. It's the whole peacocking syndrome, right? And what ends up happening is you end up focusing on uh, outward, outward uh, visual expressions of how amazing you are rather than really focusing on inward how amazing you are. Sometimes you might end up overcompensating a little bit. So those are the seven deadly habits that we all have, and I know you have some of them, don't lie, right, that we all have. But the important thing here is now that you're aware of them, you have no more excuses, right? Now you can make the conscious decision of whether or not you actually want to allow these unconscious actions to remain unconscious and dictate your life, or if you want to stop BSing yourself and take control and start taking action to your goals. So remember, you didn't sign up for easy, you signed up for impact.